There's certain things that come, scientists are very interested in measuring things, but there's certain things in Buddhism that maybe are not up for measurement, right? And then you were talking about emptiness. So I'm wondering if that's one of the things. Do you think emptiness is, how does a scientist examine, you know, emptiness? Is that possible? So emptiness is, I think the full emptiness, I don't know the, how the modern science can find, but it's very close to the empty aspect. It's very close from the, I have a lot of discussion with the physics and neuroscience also, how the perceiving the world, the cognitive science also, is really very similar as empty aspect. But then what we call emptiness is not just empty, not nothing. Empty, yet everything can manifest. Everything is possible. So these two, what we call together, empty, and the possibility, like dream, what we call in the dream, maybe dream pizza, not real, yet can appear in the dream. You can see, you can eat also. So these dream pizza and not real pizza are one. <clears throat> so if whole purpose here is in Buddhism, we have the path, <clears throat> excuse me. The path is to recognize this emptiness. And then it's like when you recognize a dream, then you are free from dream laws, a dream problem, but dream no need to disappear. You can still see pizza, even though you know it is not real. So that is the whole purpose here in Buddhism, slowly, slowly, by learning the nature of reality and to free yourself. So I think, I think this final aspect to beyond concept, beyond subject and object, that I'm not sure uh, with the science. As of now, we are looking out from the Buddhist aspect. If you look out, you cannot see this beyond concept. So that might be that, I think, one. Mm.